Good morning, St. Thomas More. It's a beautiful day. As many of you know, St. Thomas More is a beautiful mosaic of cultures and students from all over the world coming together in our Catholic school. And today we get to celebrate our first Catholic Mass in three years. So it's going to be a wonderful celebration, but I'm understanding that some of you may be unfamiliar with what's going to happen later on today. We're going to gather in the gym, and I just would ask that regardless of your beliefs, your background, that you do what, what really anybody would do if they were in an unfamiliar situation, and they would show a great deal of respect. You see, <clears throat> I understand that not everybody in our school is a practicing Catholic, but there are many of us that are, and we believe what Jesus told us way back when, he said, whenever two or three are gathered in my, my name, there I am among them. And so we believe that Jesus will be with us in the gym later on today, and we are gonna have the celebration of the Holy Eucharist. We're asking the teenagers who are unfamiliar simply for respect, to go with the flow, look at the adults around you, and that's what you should be doing, and to join us if you want at the end of the Mass for the Holy Eucharist. Now, when you do come up, if you're not Catholic or not ready to receive the Eucharist, you still can join in the procession by doing this when you get up to the front, and they will just offer you a blessing. But if you are not Catholic or not ready to receive, receive communion, then you shouldn't be receiving that communion. And with that, I just, I know, um, I happen to believe that teenagers, we should never underestimate them. And if we ask them for respect, we will get it. And St. Thomas More teenagers are special in that way, so I expect and, and that this is gonna be a great celebration, and I expect that the students are gonna behave very, very well. Teachers, I would ask that at the conclusion of these announcements, if you just take a couple minutes to go through the basics, that the students must sit with their class, that they have to put their cell phones away, headphones, all that kind of stuff. But students, just take the lead from your teachers, and everything's gonna be great. Look forward to seeing all of you, it's gonna be amazing. When's the last time we had 2,000 people in our gym? It's been about three years, and it's going to happen today, so we're looking forward to it. We'll see you all there. Hi, I'm Courtney. And I'm Joey. And we're, and we're here, here from, from your, your prefects. prefects. Want to get involved in STM clubs? Tomorrow is our club fair. It will be running on third to fourth lunches, and it will be in the cafeteria. Everyone is welcome. Come down to sign up for our amazing clubs. Thanks, Thanks STM. STM. We have a story to tell. It's an opportunity for us to share our culture about who we really are. Everybody in the world has an Aboriginal past, but they're so far removed from it from thousands of years of separation. It is a great responsibility, I believe, to present my culture in the most honest and historically accurate way possible, because I might be the only one that they ever meet. They need to leave and to say, without them, we would not know Canada as it is today. They want to beat the drum. They want to dance the dance and feel it in the heart and be able to remember it forever, because once you hear the beat of the drum, you'll never forget it. My name is Mary Paul, and we are from your STM Diversity Committee. As we continue towards Truth and Reconciliation Day tomorrow, we are called to look at ways we can reconcile with our Indigenous brothers and sisters. Here are some ways in which we can help learn and celebrate Indigenous culture and peoples. We can support local Indigenous businesses and vendors like Beadwork by Kay. We can actively learn about Indigenous experience by attending a tour at the Woodland Cultural Center in Brantford. We can donate to relevant Indigenous-led organizations that support residential school survivors and their families, like the Hamilton Regional Indian Center at, on Ottawa Street. STM, let us support, learn, and celebrate Indigenous culture. Thank you, STM. 
Hey STM, my name is Alessandra and here are your announcements for today. Attention all boys interested in playing senior boys basketball. Tryouts begin next week on Monday, October 3rd from 6 to 7.15 p.m. and Wednesday, October 5th from 6 to 7.15 p.m. An email went out to all players who signed up. If you did not get an email, it's probably because you entered an incorrect email address. Please re-register if that is the case. For anyone who has not signed up yet, please do so. Sign up sheets and QR code is located outside room 325 or 310. Please sign up before Monday's tryout. There will be an H4H &H planning committee meeting in the library and in room 103 today after school at 2.45 p.m. for all members of the planning committees. And now for your sports. Yesterday, your novice girls basketball team played St. Mary's in their opening game. Despite playing with a short bench, your girls came away with the victory 23-17. Bonia Crabb and Yasmin Aliyah both led the team with six points each. Good game, girls. Practice today after school. Thanks, STM. Hello, everybody. My name is Josiah, and I'm here from your dance team. Uh, we will be holding another audition today uh, for everyone that wanted to be able to come and try out. So, if you wanted to know what it's like to be on the dance team, please, please, please come and try out today. We will be giving you guys two dances, is what you will be taught today. And then you guys will be asked to learn them and show us what you got. Uh, so just come ready to dance uh, today uh, in the room 128. And we will be starting right at 3 o'clock. So make sure that you are stretched and ready beforehand. And this audition today will run from 3 to 4 o'clock. Uh, if you have any questions, please see Ms. Lejam. And yeah, all who's able to make it, please come out and have some fun. Thank you. Good morning, STM. September 30th is recognized as a National Day for Truth and Reconciliation. Collectively, we recognize and honor survivors of residential schools, a system that took away the indigenous identities of its students. And with heavy hearts, we remember the children who were never able to return to their homes. All money raised will go directly to support the Woodland Cultural Center as we commemorate this day as one that celebrates resilience and affirms the commitment that every child matters. Please honor those who are horribly wronged by wearing an orange shirt tomorrow and donating through school cash online. Thank you for your time and support. Have a great day, SCM. STM, those are all of your announcements. The time is now 825. Have a great day.